Good morning, everyone. It's Dr. Palacios here, and I am here to bring another question regarding migraine headaches. And today's question is going to be something about safety and efficacy of medicines to migraines. And the question is, what is the safest medicine for migraine? Now, you may be wondering, how do we find safe medicine? And what is defined as safe medicine? So my reference is the type of medicine that does not give that many side effects, or at least has a minimal window of side effects that you may not want to have. Now, as a naturopathic doctor, the types of medicines that I use for migraines are different from your conventional doctor, whether it'll be your general practitioner, family doctor, or neurologist if you're seeing a specialist for migraines. Now, for the safest type of medicine, in my opinion, would be riboflavin or vitamin B2. As you may have learned from before, if you have seen some of my videos, if not, you can check them out, that B2 or riboflavin is a type of supplement, well, specifically a vitamin, that works with the mitochondria. The mitochondria is this powerhouse of the cell that allows the cells, and to be more specific, the neurons in the brain for migraine sufferers to make it work better. So the efficiency and the production of energy can be a little smoother and therefore prevent some future migraines. Now, this type of medicine is for prevention. It is not to abort migraines. However, the side effect profile is extremely low. And these are some of them in case you may be wondering, what if I take too much? Because after all, when it comes to medicines, whether they are natural or synthetic, having too much is going to cause some side effects, which could be serious or sometimes not too much. And also, if you don't take the proper amount, it's not going to do anything for you. Now, riboflavin, the first thing that we should discuss, like with any possible medicine, whether it's synthetic or natural, is the possibility of allergic reaction. If you develop some type of hives, difficulty breathing, or swelling of the lips, the tongue, or the throat, your body is telling you that you're suffering some type of allergic reaction from the medicine you're taking. So that means that you probably do not want to take that again. It is rare, but just with any medicine, it could always happen. You always have to be watchful for that. The second side effect to keep in mind about riboflavin is the yellow urine, the bright yellow urine, or sometimes I like to call it the highlighter urine. Now, is this a sign of toxicity? It is not. You don't have to worry about it. It is absolutely a harmless side effect for you. But then if you go and take lots of riboflavin, there could be a chance that you could make your stomach upset, your intestines, and therefore you could have diarrhea and increased urination. So you may go to the bathroom more often. So if that's the case, you, you want to stop taking that much riboflavin and see if it goes back to normal, if your bowel movements go back to normal, and if your urination period go back to normal and cycles. So keep that in mind. And if it doesn't, make sure you consult the doctor. And that's it. That's all I wanted to answer for today. I hope you understand a little bit more about the safest profile of medicines out there for migraines. And remember that even though riboflavin is probably one of the safest ones to take, it doesn't mean that you're gonna be side effect free 
if you take it the wrong way. All right, so feel free to reach out if you have any other questions and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to work together and address the root causes of your migraines, please click on my bio link below. And we can also find alternative ways to your migraines and other conditions as well. And it's all at the comfort of your home. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.